I mean, expectations high. You know, you guys are hungry after the way things ended last year. But how does it feel to put the helmet on and get back on the grass? You know, it's always like uh, a blessing to get back on the field and, you know, never take it for granted. We see that the last year, um, you know, whenever you have all those injuries, you just can't take it for granted. So you got to take every opportunity to go out there to the field, like, you know, it's a blessing. You got to take advantage and get better every single day. You know, that's kind of how I approach today. It looks like there's a lot of pep out there, a lot of pep to everybody's step or whatever. First day of practice, beautiful weather and all that. I mean, how good did it feel just to kind of have that type of atmosphere and the camaraderie um, coming off the last year, too? Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's day one, a lot of energy, a lot of guys are excited, um, you know, a lot of good energy heading into the next season, um, but there's a lot of things that, you know, we need to get better at, and we got to focus on those little things every single day and keep on getting better. What were some of the, you know, so many guys coming back, guys that could have gone to the NFL or could have moved on, I mean, what is kind of the, the theme, what was the motivation there to have, you know, so much continuity? I feel like there's unfinished business. Um, there was a lot of games last year that we lost, two of them specifically, that we felt like we should have won. Um, so just, you know, unfinished business, I'd say. Um, just having that uh, motivation to come back and finish what we started. The hype surrounding this team, Drake, is this going to be huge this year. I mean, how do you, how do you avoid that noise and just play football? Yeah, we, um, it's something we kind of talk about in the building, uh, just how, how to handle uh, all the hype, all the noise, the pressure. Uh, Coach Gibson had a meeting with the defense, and his message to us was, you don't feel pressure if you're the one applying it. Is there a guy, you know, so many guys went out for the year on your side of the ball, but is there a guy who stepped in who you think benefited the most from being thrown into the fire early? Uh, I'd say there's a number of guys. You got uh, Devon Betty, you got Jalen Scott, um, you got, I mean, Devin Boykin stepped up at times and then he went down. Jakeen, he's played a lot of football, but he was asked to have a bigger role. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anybody. I mean, but there's guys all over the field stepping in. Um, you know, we had uh, Josh Harris was a guy that got to play. When CJ went down, he got to play more. And, you know, he's looked great. He got so much better over the years. And it's just, you know, exciting to see them kind of progress and get better and better. When you look around and see the other guys that are with you right now, I mean, how much continuity, how much continuity do you feel like you have at the linebacker position, even with guys like Isaiah and Peyton not out there right now? I mean, I think there's a lot of uh, continuity. Like, you know, we meet together, obviously. we eat together, we hang out together, you know, I'm good friends with, uh, you know, Caden, like he's a young guy, but I've been trying to, you know, help him out, teach him, and you know, you've seen a lot of growth from him, at least from when he first got here to now, last spring to now, and just like really, you know, exciting to see him playing the way he's playing.